Your company is in the market for an SD-WAN or a SASE solution and simply said, there's a lot of options out there. So you've heard of the big company names like Cisco Meraki, Cato Networks, Ariaka, Versa, VeloCloud, Zscaler, Fortinet, you know, there's Palo Alto, so many different options out there, right? So what, how do these companies compare? How do these different solutions compare? So, hey, I'm a broker for all the major SD-WAN solutions out there. I've been doing this for a long time. So I wanted to make a video on my opinion on how to compare all these different options. My name is Mike Smith. I'm the president of Aerocom. Let's put our heads together on this. But first, if you'd like to get a quote or a demo on any of the providers that I mentioned in this video and any of these SD-WAN solutions or SASE solutions, or you just wanna know the best SD-WAN solutions that your company should be quoting, reach out and contact me. Join the thousands of other IT departments who have used me to help them make a lot better decision in a fraction of the time. I've been a broker in this industry working with all the major SD-WAN service providers for over 20 years. So I know the industry inside and out and based on your company's requirements like, hey, how many locations do you have? What type of applications are you running across the network? Where are the locations located globally? You know, how large of the of bandwidth do you need? Like stuff like that. I can tell you which vendors you should be quoting and why and help you get in touch with the right people at those vendors and make sure you get the best pricing from those vendors. Again, don't reach out to these vendors directly. Don't Google it. Just contact me, send me an email, give me a call. It's the reason why I do these videos. And if you end up getting something from this video, it's a great way to say thank you. Just come to me for quotes. All right, so do that. And then also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my, my future weekly videos that I put out. And don't forget to go to our website, aerocominc.com, where you can look at SD-WAN providers, filter them by feature, write reviews on them, read reviews on them, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm going to list out the top SD-WAN vendors that you might have heard of, and I'm gonna list them alphabetically and kind of go through what I think about each one, kind of what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, what you need to know about each vendor. Now, I'm not gonna tell you every single thing about each vendor, and I know I'm gonna miss some things about these vendors. So if you really want an in-depth tutorial on these vendors, send me an email, give me a call. Let's talk about it if your company's in the market for this type of stuff. But this is a brief overview of kind of stuff right off the top of my head, what I think about each vendor. Okay, let's start with Ariaka. Ariaka is what I call a cloud-enabled SD-WAN solution. So if you don't know what that is, go look at my video of the main types of SD-WAN solutions out there and you'll see what I mean by that. But they're a cloud-enabled SD-WAN solution with a global IP, back, uh, IP backbone with global POPs. That's their architecture and how they're set up. And they offer SD-WAN, they offer SASE, they also offer CASB. Ariaka does a really great job and they're really known kind of as a knock as a service, NOC, knock as a service. So they do a really good job, but overall, my experience with Ariaka is they're really pricey. So if it's something you need, if, if you need, if you have global sites and you're looking to really reduce latency between sites and you're sending large files, you need a global provider, and you kind of need that knock as a service type of solution that offers, you know, CASB, SASE, SD-WAN, then that might be a good fit again, but it's pretty pricey. So that's my take on Ariaka. Cato Networks, similar to Ariaka, is also a cloud enabled solution with global POPs and a private IP backbone connecting all those POPs together. Cato, also like Ariaka, also offers SD-WAN, SASE and CASB. I'd say in terms of pricing, Cato's kind of middle of the road. They're not one of the least expensive service providers out there for SD-WAN, but they're not one of the most expensive service providers out there. Like I'll mention some providers in this video are pretty expensive. The nice thing about Cato is just, it's a super user-friendly interface. It's very easy to administer. It's very simple and clean. And they have some nice add-on features like digital experience, monitoring and if you want to know more about that look at my review that i do the video i do on Cato, where i'm reviewing them i'll get a little bit more in depth on them on that okay cisco meraki cisco meraki is an on-prem only sd-wan solution 
And really, I consider Cisco Meraki kind of like just a firewall. I don't really consider them much of an SD-WAN solution. It's really kind of just more of a glorified firewall. So do they offer SASE solutions? Yeah, kind of. It's kind of a SASE solution. You can kind of bolt on some additional services there. Is it a CASB? No. Cisco Meraki, it's, it's a popular solution. So a lot of companies already have Cisco equipment. They, they have faith in the product in terms of firewalls. So you have that going for you, but it's not a zero trust solution, which is not great for remote users. So overall, it's a decent solution, but I think there are better solutions out there for SD-WAN especially definitely for SASE and CASB than Cisco Meraki. Okay, Fortinet, very popular solution. It's an on-prem only solution and it's an SD-WAN solution. It's a SASE solution and it's kind of a CASB solution as well. They have some CASB services as well. Fortinet's known for being inexpensive, but the downside of Fortinet is they've had a lot of ransomware hacking that's been taking place. It's really taken advantage of some of the vulnerabilities the known vulnerabilities in their software. So just something about Fortinet. Palo Alto is an on-prem only solution and their Prism solution is a very good SD-WAN solution. It's a very good SASE solution. It's a very good CASB solution. Overall, very good. It's also very easy to layer on those SD-WAN, SASE, and CASB solutions. If your company already has Palo Alto currently for your firewalls everywhere, it's just very easy to layer on those solutions as opposed to going and getting a different SD-WAN vendor. The downside of Palo Alto, as you might know if you're familiar with the industry, is Palo Alto is very expensive. Okay, let's talk about VeloCloud, a very popular SD-WAN solution out there. It is a cloud-enabled solution with possibly global POPs but not a private backbone typically. Now I say possibly because sometimes you can get a Velo Cloud solution from a company that is wholesaling it, that they're buying it wholesale and reselling it, and they're using their own pops to power the Velo Cloud solution. But if you're buying it directly from Velo Cloud, they do not have global pops. So it kind of depends on who you're buying it from. But Velo Cloud is definitely a an SD WAN solution, but it is not a SASE solution and definitely not a CASB solution. Velo Cloud is typically SD WAN by itself, and if you want to add a firewall solution to it, they do have a built-in stateful firewall, which is just the basics. So they do have that option, but I don't know many mid-sized large companies that just want a stateful firewall. They usually want next-gen firewall, which is SASE. So that's what they do. Overall, I'd say mid-priced. They're a lot like I mentioned earlier with Cato. They're not really cheap, but they're not really expensive. They're just kind of right in the middle. Overall, I'd say VeloCloud has a very good SD-WAN solution, but the problem is, is VeloCloud really hasn't changed since it launched in maybe 2016 or so. It's been bought a couple different times by different companies. I just don't know if there's a lot of R&D going into that product. So it's good for SD-WAN, but I think the market's kind of grown and added more things to SD-WAN. So I don't think they quite offer as many things as some of the other vendors offer. Versa is an on-prem only solution, and it's a very capable SD-WAN, SASE, and CASB solution. The downside of Versa is it's known for being very complicated. It's not that easy to set up and configure, and it also gets kind of expensive. And lastly, let's talk about Zscaler. Zscaler is a cloud-enabled solution, and it's more of a security solution than it is an SD-WAN solution. They're trying to, to push into the WAN space and trying to go into SD-WAN, but really it's more of a security solution. It's a very good ser security solution for like, you know, for next-gen security, for CASB services, but it's also very expensive and a little bit complicated to set up and manage. So very expensive solution, a little bit complicated, very good security solution, not as much of an SD-WAN solution though. All right, so that's my breakdown on the top SD-WAN SASE solutions out there that you might've heard of. I hope you got something from that, but again, if you'd like more information on any of these vendors, don't reach out to them directly, actually contact me. Send me an email, give me a call. I'm a broker for all the major SD-WAN, SASE, and CASB solutions in the marketplace. And I've been doing this for over 20 years. 
So join the thousands of other companies who have used me to help their company make a lot better decision in the fraction of the time. I'll introduce you to the best vendors you should be talking to. I'll introduce you to the best people to work with at those vendors. I'll get you on a call to do a great demo and have you see all the things that you need to see about the vendor and also oversee the quoting process to make sure you guys get the best pricing possible from the vendor of your choice. And if you like what you see, I'll help you purchase it directly from that vendor. And the nice thing is on top of all that, I don't charge your company a dime for working with me. The service providers actually pay my company my broker fee, so I don't have to charge you guys anything. So there's no excuse not to at least reach out and get my opinion on this stuff if your company's in the market for an SD-WAN solution. All right, so send me an email, give me a call, I'd love to help you with it. It's the reason why I do these videos and it's a nice way to say thank you if you got something from it. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my future weekly videos that I'm gonna be putting out. And go check out our website, aerocominc.com. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.